And a good day, all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today. We're looking at Samuel Smith, Old Brewery, Tadcaster, Taddy Porter. 5% ABV. This is an English Porter style. Ugh. My teeth is about to go bad. Um, 93 score. Uh, gets a 93. Outstanding on Beer Advocate. And uh, Ray Beer, as well as on tap, also give it. I think on tap gives it, I think, a 4, 3.8, no, 3.9. Out of out of five score, so they think it's really good. Ray beer also says it's good as well. I've been waiting to do this beer review for some waiting because waiting for the weather got a little bit chilly. Maybe I should have taken this beer up to New Jersey when I went to spend Thanksgiving with my family because it was a lot colder there than it is here in Dunwoody, Georgia, which is very mild. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day, and I got I got my hat and a t-shirt and jacket on, so. There go, that's what you get. So anyway, here's what the beer looks like, guys. Has a nice little head up top. Um, you see, beers like these, I tend to wait to drink them when, they're really, when it's really cold, really chilly, when it's very, a little nip in the air. But, but I said, you know, might as well. Let me just get this thing over with, so be done with it. I'm outside um, at a little park right now, kind of spot so I could have a little piece not in, not in the apartment so a very dark full body ale with rich creamy head and intense dry tangy character brewed with well water the original well sunk in 1758 it's still in use malted barley roasted malts yeast and hops fermented in stone Yorkshire squares here we go Took it out of the refrigerator and kind of let it kind of get a little kick, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of punch, punch, <laughs> a punch, punch. Not too bad, guys. I mean, nothing off about it. I mean, it's pretty enjoyable. Nice finish. Very crisp, very, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm tasting some of those flavors, as I mentioned, as is mentioned in there, I'm getting all of that very roasted barley. Roasted malt, excuse me. It has a little coffee, little brown sugar sweetness to it. It's, it's pretty decent, guys. It's not a not a bad overall beverage. You know, this is my first time ever having this, so you know, obviously, I'm very excited when I got this at Tower. And again, it's been in my refrigerator for for well over more than a month and a half now. I've been saying I've been wanting to do, but there have been other beers that will pop up that I will review. And say, ah, let me try this one, or let me try that one. So. Decent, really good, nice flavor. You know, I'm really wanting to get into more of these styles um, consistently. More of these flavored uh, ales, these flavored porters. Um, the way they brew their beers in these foreign countries, you know. And we get a good amount of it here. Um, Samuel Smith's. They have their organic stout and of course they have their imperial stout both are fantastic um for five percent this is not bad i mean it's not overly heavy 
it's not going to put you where, you know, woo, woozy up, woozy you out. I'm sure other porters are a little more stronger than this. So, the local packer store that's not far from me, I actually right down the street from where I'm at right now, you know, about, about two blocks, three blocks, actually, they do have the Yingling Porter out, so I really need to get it before it goes away. I've been kind of leery because it's only selling in the 12-pack, and that's a lot of beer. It's a lot of beer for me to consume, so I'm really like, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, do I really want to do it? Do I really want to? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe give some to my brother, maybe. Maybe he'll drink it. Uh, the brewery started in 1758. One of the oldest breweries one of many old breweries in the world. Um, it was, uh, for, I bought it for, for $2.99 for the, for the size bottle, so. Yeah, I'm getting my money's worth for, from this. Um, you know, I'm just more, with this style and these other styles, the, the ABV is a little bit better, higher, then I would be like, yeah, this is really, really good, so. So I'm a proponent of, I love Imperial Stouts. You see me, I love, now I'm really starting to like these Belgian quadruple, quadruples. Those are really good. Uh, today I had uh, stopped at, um, at Trader Joe's and I picked up uh, um, Samuel Smith's uh, winter, um, winter warmer ale. And Trader Joe had another one that was right down, also for the same price, three uh, three ninety nine, which I bought. I didn't buy it, but I did buy it the winter ale, so I'm gonna try that. Hopefully, the weather will change soon, and it'll feel like it's winter. But, but get what you can get. Yes, folks, climate change does exist. Yes, it does. It happens. It is going on. So anyway. Um, I'm going to go same score, guys. This is a really, really good porter. I'm glad I warmed it up a little bit. I'm really feeling a good, nice little fullness of this. So I'm going to go same score. I will go 9.2. 9, 9, 9 so Samuel Smith, Old Brewery, Tadcaster, Teddy, the famous Teddy Porter. Very enjoyable. Um, I say a good... A uh, good steak could go with this. You want to pair it food-wise. You want to do... Um, yeah. Good, or maybe a, uh, a, a porter, porterhouse, steak. <laughs> yeah. That would pretty be good. But yeah, I think this is this is quite... That would be any game, any, you know... Gamey, very, you know, firm... Nice, delicate meat would go good with this delicious porter. So, meat, meat, meat. I love meat. I love meat. So, anyway, 9.2 for the Taddy Porter. Try it out. I'm sure you will like it. John Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Taddy Porter. Tad Porter. Taddy. I like. You do enjoy, right? Okay.